So we're kicking off 2025 by talking about visceral fat. So we're going to go run through what visceral fat is, how do we treat it, and why does it matter that you need to know about it from at least plastic surgery standpoint. So I've got a little cross section of a belly here, and I've got skin, muscle, we've got behind the muscle, liver, gallbladder, all the, all, all the good stuff, the organs. Now, when you think of fat in general with our belly, we're thinking of fat that exists between our skin and our muscle. That's sort of the natural thought process. Now, this is very effective for plastic surgery because when we have fat between the skin and the muscle, we can actually go in a very easily liposuction and remove it. Now, that is not visceral fat because we can easily get rid of it. Visceral fat actually exists around that fat all around the sort of the liver, the intestines, the organs, or behind our muscles deep in the belly. Now, why does it matter from a plastic surgery standpoint? Well, because if we have a bunch of visceral fat, that visceral fat can be taking up so much volume that it's actually being responsible for that belly to bulge out. It can bulge out this way, it can bulge out that way, and that can actually influence your overall shape and contour. The reason that we care from plastic surgery is we cannot, for obvious reasons, go in here and just blindly liposuction inside the belly. There's too big of a risk that we could injure some of the organ structures. So how do we treat it? Well, previously we would say the only way to treat this is diet and exercise, or basically calorie loss, getting the calories down to burn the fat and get rid of it. The other option that we actually have nowadays uh, effectively are the GLP-1s, the semaglutides, the terzepatides, Wagovis, Mongernos, they go by a bunch of different names, but that is an effective way actually to get it down also when we need a little bit of help. So what is it? What is visceral fat? It's fat that exists behind the muscle, it's around the organs. How do we treat it? Diet, exercise, or the GLP-1s? And why does it matter? Because it's an area that I can't treat or contour uh, your shape, and it only can be done outside of the OR through lifestyle modification.